today's BB11 updates and spoilers. Our house kiss of the day is Dollywood 48. Okay, so things have definitely cooled down since the other day with all the fighting. Of course, Jim is still talking smack, and she and Lydia were calling Russell a misogynist. Um, I don't see anything wrong with what he did. I mean, Shima was egging him on. I would have reacted in the same way, and I think most people would have. Um, just because you're a girl and he yelled at you doesn't make him a misogynist. Maybe you're just a feminist. I don't know. But she was upset because people were still talking to him, and she was like, if you're talking to him, then you're just, you're like just as bad as him, and you support misogynists. No, it doesn't work like that. So, on the good side, Russell and Michelle patch things up, kind of. They have a really rocky alliance. <laughs> I mean, one second they're like best friends, the next second they're like, oh my god, they're lying. So, it's really confusing. But, as of right now, it seems like they're good. Um, Lydia was upset because she finally realized that just Jesse doesn't really want to be with her. Um, he doesn't talk to her anymore, and she's tired of only being seen as something physical to him. And I guess he reminds her of like an ex-boyfriend, and she said to Kevin that she felt like cutting. Not good. Lydia, seriously, like I feel bad in a way, but she set herself up for that. She knows that he doesn't like her, or at least it's pretty obvious to everyone else. So, yeah. Alright, um, it really got scary because Ronnie started telling ghost stories and he said that he saw, like, this ghost kid one time. I don't even know what to believe because he's always lying. He's like, I only lie about game-related stuff. Everything that I've said about my personal life is true. I'm sorry, but I can't, I just can't. <laughs> Maybe he did see a ghost kid, but I just can't take anything seriously no. okay so later that night aka last night um, he was trying to get a vote from Jeff or Jordan specifically a pity vote from Jordan because he's trying to trick her into just being like oh it's one vote it doesn't matter but Jesse Shima and Natalie are already voting for him to stay so just one more vote will do it and he'll stay so Jordan's not buying it, and Jeff isn't buying it either, so right now. It still looks like Ronnie's going to be going home tomorrow, 4 to 3. And the coup d'etat voting is over. Let's hope Jeff won. Uh, we'll also find out that tomorrow. So until then, much love.